uh, the student was asked to leave the class several times by the instructor at the school, assistant principal was there as well. Uh, then the officer was called on scene to actually have the student uh, removed from, the, from that location. The student refused and the officer uh, acted that you've seen on the video. Now, again, what we saw was just a tidbit of what that video showed. Of course, we're gonna look at what happened that led up to it, that incident that took place, and then what happened afterwards. All of that's gonna take part in what the sheriff decides. Another incident featuring law enforcement captured on cell phone video were a wash in calls for everything from a firing to the figurative execution of said police officer for what's described as everything as a rogue cop to an unprovoked attack for racist reasons. Handmade perfect material for laughably phony news websites like the Daily Cause, a group of left-wing, toothless, wheezing frauds, most of whom write for free because not a single reputable news agency would pay them to clean toilets, much less write for those with an IQ in single digits, headlining that no one flinches and we have a problem. Oh, we do have a problem, not the one they're talking about. The problem here rests with those who fall for such fifth-rate hack dribble and make conclusions based on a lack of evidence and a lack of context. Hillary Clinton's never had an issue with lack of context. After all, she's ready at the drop of a network camera to inject sexism into her campaign when it fits her definition of it. Sure didn't waste any time on this story, where she reacted with no background of the entire truth or what the entire story was before, socially speaking, exactly what you would want from the person seeking to lead the nation. Let's jerk that pathetic knee as sky high as possible and spit out admonition with no context, right? Mrs. Clinton, how about this? How about waiting until you know all or some of the facts, like the ones that days after the incident are still dribbling out, providing some context to what the world saw and what the apologists and the slap-happy media couldn't wait to get out there and put on their shocked faces. Some will applaud the cop for deciding not to put up with another example of the same entitled I can get away with anything I want attitude that permeates American society at every age, race, sex and social group. Those who consistently, because they either are too stupid, too careless or too useless, decide they don't have to follow the law. And for whatever reason, handed them by the dreck of society, uh, usually politicians seeking re-election or groups desperate to act the victim, make the conscious call to thumb their noses at the two words missing from far too many lives personal responsibility. How about some evidence and context? The student in question was belligerent, disruptive, refused to leave the class when asked several times. So the school officials did what they're told to do. They called, asked a cop to help. The latest example of juvenile jackhammer refuses to obey the commands of Deputy Ben Fields. She physically strikes and resists the officer. He has zero idea if the girl's armed, what her intentions are, what her motives are. And with so many kids carrying weapons in the school and kids being killed for lack of action, he takes her down, takes control, defuses the situation. Oh, and by the way, here's the demon cop well-respected member of the community who plenty of kids at the school stood up for, once called an exceptional role model to the students he serves and protects. Uh, don't tell the Daily Cause Hillary or Reverend Jackson won't fit their concocted narrative. Officer Ben Fields was naturally fired today, his superiors finding numerous excuses to justify it, fearful of FBI and DOJ investigations, despite the fact the commanding officer said the girl in question was responsible for what she did and starting the altercation. Another entitled kid was allowed to get off the hook from being forced to take responsibility for actions and pay the freight when the bill comes due. Hey, we have nine-year-old kids bringing weapons to school these days. We have little snowflakes barely into their teens with loaded guns that could be used for vengeance. And a 15-year-old recently killed two and wounded 13 near San Diego at a school. Let's forget all about that and whine for this junior knucklehead and fire someone seeking to maintain order and ensure it doesn't happen on his watch. Think about that the next time a kid is gunned down at school by another innocent, misunderstood kid. That's my opinion telling it like it is.